Hello friends. Today I'm going to show you a few different options for searching and replacing across many files in NeoVim. Are you looking for just the basic thing to get by or are you looking for yet another plugin because you can't wait to install it? Oh yeah. I know, I know. There's a ton of different options, but let's explore four different options. Some of them that you may already have built in and then two new plugins that you may not know about. So let's jump into it. If this is your first time on the channel and you really like NeoVim content, then it really helps to like and subscribe. So consider doing that. Okay, so the first example I wanna show you here, we'll pop open NeoVim, and let's say that I want to find some kind of string across all my files. So let's open up some index.tsx. So this is a TypeScript file. And let's say that I want to go down to the, the food variable here. So from here, I can do a find grep, and this will allow you to open up a little grep. This is a built-in plugin for Telescope, and I can look for food S, and I have a few different options here. So I have, you know, one in a, a, one file and a couple in this file, and if I do a control Q, then that will send it to the quick fix list. And now in here, you can see I have a couple of different files, and I can go between the different options. Now, I wanna replace this text. So I can do C do, and then a matcher. So percent S and then food S, and we'll just rename it to Fred. Now C do, as you can kind of tell from the prefix, which is similar to any of your other quick fix list prefixes of C and then something else, this will apply this regex across all the files that are in my quick fix list. So applying this, I'll get this little message here, three substitutions on three lines. And then if I go up here into the file, which you can see at the top, then I have Fred replaced. And if I do a leader and semicolon, then it'll jump me to the next item in my quick fix list. And this is a shortcut that I have set up. So check out my dot files and I'll link those in the description if you're interested. So we can see that all of these were replaced. Success. Now that may have been pretty fancy and maybe you don't have telescope. I don't know why you wouldn't, but maybe you're one of those people. So let's go and use our LSP. If you didn't already know, NeoVim has a built-in LSP. So you can actually use this line right here and you can use Vim LSP buff rename. And I have this mapped to leader VRN, uh, kind of a long macro, but I can use this over in our TypeScript file. And over here, if we do leader VR in, you can see at the bottom, I have an option to rename this to Fred. And if I hit enter, then we should see that renamed. So this is probably a built-in option that you can use to rename. I will note though, this probably isn't gonna rename across files. So you need to make sure that your references are set up. And sometimes this gets multiple files, but sometimes it does not. All right, now I'm gonna show you the plugin called InVim Spectre. All right, if you navigate to the page, you'll see something like this. This is basically a search panel for NeoVim, and you have a bunch of different options. For us to install it, just grab this and put it into your LazyVim or your Packer or Plug installation file, and you can get it installed just like normal. And then some of the dependencies, as you can see, it needs a finder, it needs some icons, and it needs sed. And it gives you some information on how to install sed, and then it gives you these nice little keyboard shortcuts to map. So these are the ones that I'm gonna show you today. And then there's a few warnings and some regex issues. So, so take note whenever you wanna do a regex that you have to keep in mind that the magic mode here is gonna be a certain thing. Okay, back in our editor, we can do a leader capital S and that'll toggle this little menu. So you can see from the little eye here in the top, I have the case insensitive mode turned on. And to see all the different options, you can use question mark and that will show you, you know, to toggle the ignore case, you can do TI. If you wanna use the different set or oxy to replace, then you can use those keyboard shortcuts. Carriage return will open a file, uh, which is your enter key, if you didn't know that. And then replacing all the items in quick fix will be leader Q. So let's do an example here. We'll do food S and exit out of insert. And you can see we already have matches here across multiple files. And then let's replace it with Fred. You can actually put in a path here. I won't put in anything because I want it to match everything and it's not required. So take note of that. And you can see that it's actually showing us what the match string is and what the replace string is. And this can be toggled. So if we do leader V, 
This will toggle the different options. So we can see just the string that will be replaced, or we can see the string that is being matched, or we can see that combo view that we had initially. Let's stick with this one. Now, if I wanted to replace only a single item, I can do a leader RC, and you can see the little checkbox at the end with done. And so that's been replaced. If I wanted to replace all of them, I can do a leader capital R and that will replace everything. Note that there is no undo in this plugin. So if you need to undo something, you'll have to rely on Git or some other mechanism to make sure to roll back your changes. If you needed to check out a change in a file, you can hit enter and it'll show you. Now that we're done here, we can exit out of that window and we can see that we have bread in a few different places and we have it across multiple files. So we should have Chad GPT, that file, and then these other files already updated. Note also that it will do, if you have the ignore case set, then it will be really greedy in what it matches. So these were a couple of other strings that there weren't exact matches that also got replaced. Okay, the next plugin I wanna show you is control sf.vim. And this one uses all these different tools to be able to search and view different items and show it in, a, in your buffer which is really nice so you can just edit things like you would normally. If you want something that's a little bit more lightweight than Spectre, then this might be an option. So I'll show you a few different ways on how to edit everything. It doesn't have any install instructions that I can see. And so just grab this, plug it into your preferred plugin manager. And now we're here back in our editor. If we do a control SF, so this is the little toggle thing that you have available now once you install it. I won't get into mapping any keyboard shortcuts, but you would want to map this essentially. And so if we wanted to do food S, then we can see that that gets popped open over here. And if we make this a little bit bigger, then we can see that we have multiple files. So we have index and chat GPT at the bottom. If I wanted to move across all the different options, then I can do control J and then I'll move down and match all the different options and cycle back through them. If I wanted to do between files, then I could do control N or control P. And if I wanted to change the layout of this view, I can do capital M and it'll bump it down here into this compact view, which is really nice to be able to switch between in case you're wanting to look at a file or look at a certain line. Now, if you wanted to preview it, you can do P and that will open. You can kind of see over here on the left side, a little preview window. And then if we wanted to open that into preview window and focus it, you can do capital P and that will focus that line. We can do control J and then a capital P and then I'll jump us right to the end here and we can see exactly what the lines were changing. You can also do folds in here. And so if you do ZC, which is my mapping for closing a fold, then that will close those. And you can modify these and kind of see all the changes that are being made right at once, which is really, really helpful. Now, one of the suggestions that they do is having Vim multi-cursor mode. And so you can do that. Uh, and unfortunately it does not work with the Vim visual multi plugin that I've been talking about in a previous video, which if you haven't checked out, definitely I'll link that in the top. In that video, I go over a lot of different options for multi-line editing, as well as some advanced multi-line editing. So check those videos out if you haven't already. And in here, what we could do is we can just do a replace for the whole file. And so we do food S, and then Fred, and we'll grab all of them. And then in here, we make those substitutions. We do a write, and then it asks us to confirm, which you can override this behavior if you don't want to confirm. We say yes, and so now that we've written that, we will close this buffer, and we'll open up a different one, so chat GPT, and we can see that Fred has been changed right there. And if we go back to our index page, then we see that Red has been changed here as well. One of the things I really like about this plugin is you can do undos exactly like you would in a normal buffer. So if you hit undo here and you bring back your original changes, you can do a write and it'll ask you to, to confirm again. And you can see that it updates that and you have all your changes reverted. You can also go through one at a time, just like you would any normal buffer and edit it and change it to whatever you need to and quickly go through them with control J or control K. Really cool plugin and something I may use in my workflow. Thanks again for watching to the end. And if you like content like this, definitely like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.